Hey everybody, this is MG Vids playing some more League of War. Um, just kind of a quick update where I'm at. Uh, still stuck on that campaign, and I'm going to show you the mission that I'm having problems with. But with an invasion, making some decent progress on through the goal list, uh, both with aircraft and basically recon and infantry. And the levels I've been farming have been farm out. Basically, this second level right here is where you want to go for the t for uh, light light infantry and uh, or infantry and the light vehicles, and the fourth level here for helicopters. And the way that I've been farming out light infantry, I'll just show you really quick. Uh, as I've just been running sand vipers, so if we go like to 3x, you can literally send out one sand viper if you want. Two's kind of what you need, but he's not he's just not gonna die. They can shoot at him all day long. Let it build up a little bit, then send out a second one, and the two will just sit there uh, and eliminate everything. Even artillery, no nothing's going to take them out in this level. And this, I've been trying the same vipers out in that level, the campaign I'm going to show you that I've been struggling with. But you can literally have this thing run to a, you know a hundred thousand supply, and you'll get several hundred, hundred infantry, several hundred light armor vehicle, and it only costs you ten points. I'm just going to send out a third guy here just to end this really quick. I only need 10 infantry to, to get the 8,000. But run the one sand viper for as long as you can until the computer's really boosted up, because otherwise, you know, you take too much damage off the base. But if you give it a little bit and then send out that second one, you'll be able to run fine for a while. Uh, and, you know, so the way that they have redone the point system is something that I really like now. Uh, with the goal list, because I can get, you know, 16,000 out of each uh, class. So, getting a whole heck of a lot closer uh, to getting some gold, one gold key. Don't know that I'm going to really get much farther than that, uh, because it's just, you know, th there's a lot. I mean, I could get... I'll definitely get the helicopter, so that'll be another, you know, 13,000. I'll get the tanks, that'll be another, you know, 13,000. And some of the battles and players, but... Here's the, uh... Here's the campaign that I'm still struggling with. It's still been that same one. And it's just, uh, attempting to stay alive for three and a half minutes. But with them running... One, it costs 15, so you don't get to play it very often. But with them running, uh... To, I'm sorry, uh, survive for four minutes. With them running uh, status primes, it really becomes a pain. And so stuff that I've been playing around with was maybe trying to drop like a double sniper. Because the Arash just gets wiped out. But if I go like Sand Viper, uh, and really I'm thinking actually going Comrade Zero. A status sniper, because Comrade Zero is like 130. But I figure he'll take out one of them. And the other will still be alive. But then the problem is he brings out a Memnon, and, and then there's just nothing you can do. You know, here, oh, I'm sorry, a Black Flag. And the Black Flag is, you know, just maxed out here. So it's in a Colorable behind it. Ah, oh, forget it. Now he's got Reapers. I messed that up completely. And the Arash didn't even kill the Reapers with the, with the shot. So, this is a level I've just been trying a few different tactics out on. I just cannot get any traction in there. And it's just a real, real pain. Uh, I think I have an energy, so let's just go ahead and use that. Because, I mean, literally, we need to survive for... You know, four minutes, but this is just such a pain. So if you have beaten this level, uh, I'd love to hear what your uh, strategy was. All right, we know these guys are going to take them out, so we're going to let them run. We'll drop in a rash behind them to deal with the reapers. And then we're going to drop a colorable right behind that with a status sniper here. 
because that'll take care of the scarab. We now need to go basically everything. Good. You kind of just can't go wrong with status snipers, but the reason I've been playing around with the sand vipers is that they can dodge so much, so many rounds, and I hate that I'm fighting basically at my own base because there's not really much room for error here. Well, let me rephrase that. There's just a matter of time until I'm dead, like that. So, yeah, I'm just not sure really yet how I'm gonna how I'm gonna get through this one. I think Comrade Zero will be better. He's cheaper. Uh, Fortress Aze Wall is what it is, uh, and it's in the campaign uh, Chaos Monsoon. So, if you have gotten through it, let me know um, because that's wh that's where I'm struggling. But hey, this is MG Fit with some more gameplay. Um, I'll see you soon in the next video. Uh, still, once I figure out hopefully how to get through that. Uh, if not, you know, keep farming out your uh, invasion missions. Uh, I'll open these chests that I've collected, since folks prefer that I do that online, which is fine. Almost got that gold key. The Hermes, uh, whatever. It's just not gonna. I just need a stronger sniper or a stronger something for that level. I have thought about uh, leveling up. Um, I've got one of these biochem units as well. And I've thought about swapping that out and bringing that in instead. Um, let me see if I can find it for you real quick in my company. Because I've got a few trainers now from the missions. Let's see. It is a super rare, but you can see I haven't sold anything in a while. Death's Hand. So Death's Hand, um, it fires chemical weapons. It's got that area effect, and it just obliterates infantry. So this is one that I'm thinking um, maybe would be good if I got it to 20 to put in to try to deal with the... Uh, her status primes and stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to keep playing around with this. If you've cracked through that again, let me know. I'd be interested to see how you got through. Uh, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks. And if you ha again, if you haven't subscribed, we'd encourage you to subscribe to look at all the gameplay uh, and reviews that come on YouTube. Thanks.